The Curiosity Development Platform comes in several useful formats to be used for your next project. Our 8-bit offerings include the Curiosity Nano development boards, the Curiosity Low Pin Count development board, and the Curiosity High Pin Count development board. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to use the Low Pin Count and High Pin Count boards, or LPC and HPC boards for short. First, you will want to choose the microcontroller you wish to develop with. In this example, we will be demonstrating the PIC18 F25 Q71 for the HPC board and the PIC16 F18045 for the LPC board. When selecting a part, be sure to select a DIP package with the correct pin count to ensure compatibility with your board. If you're using an HPC board, that will either be 28 pins or 40 pins. And if you're using an LPC board, it will be 8, 14, or 20 pins. When you've selected the appropriate part, you can select this link and navigate to Microchip Direct in order to order your sample microcontroller. Next, we'll want to get our hands on a development board to begin working on it. You can follow the link provided in the description or go to microchip.com and navigate to the product page for the LPC or HPC board respectively. While we're here, let's take a chance to look at the included hardware features for the HPC and LPC boards. For the HPC board, aside from the microcontroller, we can see the included PIC kit on board, or PKOB, some assorted headers, a jumper for switching between 3.3 and 5 volts, a reset switch, TX and RX headers for serial UART communication, and an included potentiometer and two push buttons, and two microbus slots, along with other features. And for the LPC board, we have much of the same, but in a smaller package. However, we do drop down to a single push button and single microbus socket. Anyways, we can now follow a similar link as before and you can navigate to Microchip Direct in order to order this development board. It's also worth mentioning that the HPC board will come with a PIC18 F47 Q10 microcontroller and the LPC will come with a PIC16 F18446 pre-installed. If you wish to use a different microcontroller, the pre-installed microcontroller may be gently removed using the edge of a flathead screwdriver. Once it's removed, insert the desired microcontroller. Let's continue into software. For development, we recommend using our MPLAB X IDE with the XC8 compiler and MPLAB code configurator. You will need to install these three tools either by following the links in the description or by going to microchip.com. After downloading, you may just follow the on-screen instructions to install. Once your tool chain is installed and your hardware is ready, you're ready to develop your next project. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.